guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial for you guys so today's video is all about how I round brush and blow dry my hair to where you don't even need to take a straightener to it so I do want to throw out a disclaimer that this video is sponsored by InStyler but, as always, I do not share things on my channel unless I absolutely 100% love them. And you guys know that if you guys have been watching my videos since the beginning. Before I received this product, I was using another blow dryer and it was just falling apart and it just was not really working the way that I wanted it to. This has changed my hair game so much that I can't even begin to tell you how much I absolutely love it. I have a lot of thick hair and it's very frizzy and it's very wavy. Some areas it's kind of curly so sometimes it's just very unmanageable and lately the only thing that I've been doing to my hair is round brushing it with this blow dryer and it comes out so incredibly beautiful. The reason why I am doing this video today is because InStyler is actually having a special offer with Ulta. If you purchase the InStyler Blue Ionic Blow Dryer you receive a free mini blow dryer so it's like you're getting two products in one. So this offer with Ulta and InStyler is only until December 24th. This product is about $99 and once again this is a very affordable blow dryer. I have to show you the mini one because it's absolutely adorable. It is so cute and I need to hold them up to you. So this is the mini one and this is the regular sized one. This blow dryer comes with this attachment so I'm going to take this one off. This is the, I don't know what kind of attachment this is called, like a nozzle attachment. And then this one also comes with the diffuser as well. This blow dryer has a shot of cool air that you can use. It has a couple of different settings here. First one you have a very light kind of heat and then the second one you have a very strong heat that's really going to blow dry your hair. And then here you have a wheel that you can change on how fast or how slow you want the fan to actually blow which has been an absolute lifesaver. I've never had a blow dryer that had this type of thing on it. This also has an ion switch which is actually going to help with all of that frizziness in your hair. So the low setting in the ions is actually if you have very thin hair and you want to reduce frizz and the turbo one I use because I have very thick so medium to thickish hair would probably use the turbo side. I'm just so excited because this blow blow dryer is absolutely amazing and I am so happy to have a new blow dryer because the one that I was using before was just not doing its job properly so I'm really excited I was able to get the opportunity to try this out so yeah enough of me blabbing and let's go ahead and jump right into the video all right so I'm starting off with freshly washed hair and my hair was up in a towel for a little while so it's not completely soaked but it is damp I'm gonna spray some of this Tresemme heat protectant spray which is my all-time favorite and I'm almost out of it and then I'm going to take my wet brush and just comb through my hair. My hair tends to get very knotty after I wash it and if I don't brush it out then it's just pretty much a disaster and it's always good to brush out and make sure you have no knots before you blow dry and round brush. And then I'm going in with this Garnier Fruit Teas Anti-Humidity, it's like a cream and this is just to help smooth out my hair and to keep it from really frizzing up and getting poofy throughout the day and I really love this stuff. I've used this for a really long time as well. The next thing that I'm going to do is take a comb and I am going to section the top portion of my hair off and I'm going to split it up into three sections and I am going to take these large Velcro rollers which aren't the best but I got them for a really great deal at Ulta so I decided to just go ahead and get them and use them. Now the deal with this one is not really to uh, get it to curl but more as give it some volume. I will put these in and then I will go back and round brush them out and it just kind of gives it a little bit more fluff on the top to where my hair falls to the side and I just used three big ones and they were not staying in my hair this day. So next I'm splitting up the rest of my hair into two sections so I will just half it behind my head and then I will work on one side and then move on to the next side. Now the only reason why I do this is just to make 
make sure that I really get every single piece of hair really nice and straight and sleek. If I don't, then I always end up missing the back pieces and it's always poofier in the back. So I have to do this just to make sure that I get every single strand of hair. And I also section this part off. You guys are probably like, wow, she the sections her hair off a lot. But this is the only way that I can really get in there and get every single piece of hair. So the round brush that I'm using is the Large Round Brush by Revlon. And this is just my favorite brush. Yes, my hair is on the shorter side, but the larger round brushes work a lot better for me. And it just grips more of my hair because I do have that thicker hair. It just works, you know, better to have a larger brush. So I'm just doing this and I keep sectioning off the pieces of my hair. And as you can see, I'm really flipping that inwards. I don't like to flip my hair outwards or do anything crazy because my hair naturally sits on my shoulders. And if I don't flip it inwards, it will flip out and I will have this crazy hairstyle. So I definitely like to make sure that I am flipping it and curling it inwards with the brush. I just like to pull my hair straight and let the heat sit on it for a little while. While. and then as you can see I just rotate that brush when I get to the end I keep rotating it into my hand and curling it underneath and it does a great job as you can see it does an amazing job at just really straightening that hair you can do this in so many different ways I've seen so many different tutorials on this so if mine is not ideal for you then I would definitely suggest searching for something that might work better for you I'm doing the same thing on the opposite side. My camera actually cut off, so you'll only see a section of this, I believe. And I am just sectioning off. I usually have about four sections of my hair on each side of my head. Now, going back to those pieces up top, I just take them out of the curlers, and then I take that section, and I round brush it going backwards. As you can see, I place the hair and I will let the heat sit on it for a little bit and then I will pull up and start round brushing that underneath exactly. I don't part my hair, I just kind of let my hair sit and fall the way that it naturally would. So after I round brush my hair, I like to just take the brush and I just like to smooth out the hair and curl it underneath to make sure that it sits nicely. And the last thing that I do is I apply this bedhead after party cream to my hair. This is so amazing. This stuff smells good. It makes my hair last and it stays like this for a while. It just makes sure that it stays in place and it makes sure it gets rid of all those flyaways even though I constantly have those. Alright guys, so that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys should definitely let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. So this blow dryer is available at Ulta right now and as I said before, it does come with a free mini blow dryer which is absolutely awesome because usually that never happens. If you guys are curious about this offer, I will have the link to Ulta down below for you guys so you guys can check it out as well as the price and all of this stuff that I used in my hair today. I will have it linked down below as well. I hope you enjoyed this hair tutorial. I tried to do hair tutorials here and there but like I said, I'm not a hair person so these are kind of difficult for me to film and it was hard for me to film this because I just, again, not a hair person. <laughs> Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you guys did enjoy it. And don't forget to follow me on all of my social media. You guys can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Snapchat, all of that stuff. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.